the 1990s, the movies are facing a new challenge, home video cassettes. The teenagers of the 50s now have teenagers of their own. And these kids don't have to go to the drive-in to see the latest fright flicks. They can watch them right at home. A perfect setup for a young filmmaker named Charles Band. Bypassing the big screen entirely, Band makes his films directly for home video. You don't know what to do. We'll save you. No, I'm turn it off! Don't do this! Aimed at the teenage horror market, Band's Full Moon Productions creates low-budget but high-quality films with titles like Puppet Master, Demonic Toys, and Doll Man. How does it feel to be on the other side, God? I don't know. You tell me. Everything we've done with Full Moon has never been done before. It's tough to describe the style uh, of movie making as far as what we're trying to do, because it's, it's beyond movies. We're trying to make it more of a, an overall experience, not just un another movie. We have these sort of serial type approaches, you know, pictures like Puppet Master and Subspecies and Trancers. And the, the plan for the future is to do even more of that, to go back to what worked in the 30s and 40s, serials, really, and begin to cross over the characters. So you're going to get Doll Man fighting the demonic toys and puppets teaming against something else. Raise hell. Playtime! In a sense, it really is the comic books of the 90s. Back in the 50s, it was all pretty silly stuff, you know, because the technology just wasn't there. When we were talking B-movies, we didn't have much money. You could take most of our early pictures and say they were Z-budgets, not just B-budgets. Instead of having big special effects, we had rubber or monster suits or other things. So, in reality, there was a lot more ingenuity in our picture. By comparison to a Terminator, I think we can make 40 of our movies. You know, any director who poses, you know, as being a great auteur because he spent 50 or 60 or 70 million dollars, you know, ought to have his uh, knees hacked off. I think seven out of the top ten uh, most successful films of all time are just big budget B movies. I mean, Alien is a B picture. You know, is a B. Indiana Jones, all the, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, those are B movies with A budgets. I'm proud to say you go in your video store and you'll see Terminator 2 and Trancers 3 and Puppet Master, and they're all basically on the same fantasy shelf. Coming up with these characters is most of the fun. Coming up with the concepts for the movies. I mean, Pinhead in particular is just, I've dealt with a lot of people like that in my career, so that was an easy one. You know, believe it or not, for a guy who makes pictures in this genre, I don't think I've ever made a truly frightening film. How do you like that? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> 